Good day, everybody. So today we are going to do Edges Chapter. So once you load up, you'll start out inside the Cave of Eblin right about there. We'll just head back here. Back to the castle, get some supplies, uh, potions, uh, finger sounds, all that crap. And Naming Way is in the end here, as always, and we'll just talk to him. Thank you, buddy. You, you say the same thing every time. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I want to do it, otherwise there's uh, no point in me coming here. Otherwise, why the hell else would I be doing this video? No, oh, this we're going to do a challenge dungeon by me saying no, and we're going to leave. So here's the old man. Let's, let's see what he says. So, uh, it is a speed dungeon, and he's not kidding. It uh, requires you to get through the dungeon as quickly as possible. And achieve by achieving different ranks, it improves the likeliness of getting the better item at the end of the dungeon. So for rank S, you need five minutes or less. For rank A, you need 501 to 10 minutes. Rank B, 1001 to 20 minutes. Rank C, 20 to 2001 to 30 minutes. Rank D, 3001 to or more. Rank D is obviously a fail. The fail is a ninja. That's why there's no F, I don't know. F would be like you spend an hour in the dungeon. Yeah, you always receive an item, but it's always lower. Yeah, so the better chance you get the good item. So let me talk about a few things here. So like I said, like he said, the dungeon is a speed dungeon and it will continue to the counter will start from zero and will continue to count up even during battles so if you're trying to achieve the best possible rank rank s five minutes or less which i'm going to try to achieve you're going to have to run from every single battle the other thing we're going to talk about are the chests Every time you do this challenge dungeon, the chest will refill. However, they usually refill with something useless or somewhat kind of useless. Uh, usually they're just some sort of a recovery item or a shuriken, like cross. You might get lucky and get a cross shuriken, but mostly just shurikens or like healing items like remedies, phoenix downs, auto elixir, stuff like that. But there are there is a likelihood that one of the three chests on each floor or maybe both of them in a single while well, when you go through the dungeon once may have two special items there every floor has two special one-time items that are protected by enemies so when you go and open a chest and it says attack by monster or monster trap or whatever the hell it is that means you're going to get the unique one of the unique items to that floor and you can only get them once so once you get it I suggest you teleport your ass out buy some emergency exits get your ass out of there save and go back um, so yeah let's go over some of the items you can get you can get the killer bow which is a pretty good one for Izaioi and a Ashura, which is a pretty good ninja store sword you can clip on Edge to beat him up. That is for the first floor chest that will randomly be generated. On the second floor, there is a black belt gi, which I believe improves strength and is pretty good armor as well. And a mithril hammer, which is a pretty good item for Geku. So those are the two special random items you can get on floor two. Maybe I'll walk around. Ooh. We've been sitting here for a while. Gotta stretch the legs. Don't go in the door. Uh, floor three. You can get a crimson cherry, which is a type of katana. Another good one for edge. I think it brings almost his attack up to like a hundred over 100, 140 or something like that. It's a really, really good one. And a black cowl, which I believe is just a really good headgear. I don't think it has anything special. I think it does beef up the magic defense, though. 
or the magic in general. So that's a good one for Zyoi, because I believe that affects her healing. The fourth floor? There is only a single chest on the fourth floor, I believe. It has a... It will, one of these special items will either be a chakram. I think that's a chakram? Chakram? I don't know, that little disc thing people throw is a frisbee, okay? And it's a good one for Sukanawa. He can equip that very much. And a wind spear, which is another wind, obviously wind element, which is good for taking down aerial enemies, you know, the ones that bob up and down. And that's a good one for Zengetsu. And then the final dungeon has is the final chest, which has the best possibility. And this is the one that's determined by your time. The faster you get there, the better the item will be. The best item is the Kotetsu. It's another ninja sword. It's a really good ninja sword for uh, Edge. The Miss Wrap, which I believe is headgear for Izaiwe or women only. I think women only can wear that. A Gaia Hammer, which is good for Geku, obviously. Treasure Hunt, I'm not quite sure, but I... I believe... Treasure Hunt is something for Sukanawa. Well, I've talked for like six minutes. And the Flame Lamp, which is a flame elemental lance for Zangetsu. And then the final one, if you want, is Adamantite. And the regular weapons you can get is like Wing Edge, which is an excellent thing to throw, Silver Apple, Blitz Whip, which is a pretty good whip that you can equip on these eye white. Uh, Goblin Mask, I don't freaking know. And then Ether, Elixirs, other consumables, blah blah blah, depending on how poor you are. So, when I head through that door, I am going to be running and I will point out chests. I will not be getting chests. Like I said, I'll have had, I'll have already taken most of the chests by the time I've gone through. I'll have gotten all the special items on my, no my own. Like I said, they're random. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? So here's our first floor. There's a chest down to the south and a chest to the north. I don't want them because they'll be crap and it's not worth wasting the time. Oh, I got back attacked by less. This is probably what's going to kill you in terms of time back attacks or surprise attacks. And then you have to heal up from them. So like I said, I am going to be running as quickly as possible through as much as possible. Try to achieve a floor or a high score. There's another chest up there, just in the north. Like I said, all the chests are random, and you can come back anytime you want. If you head to the right there, you'll get into a force encounter with possibly a Chimera Brain, which has a nasty attack that can do about a thousand points of damage to all your party members. So don't go that way. Instead, just follow this. Anima and bombs are actually... Storm animas actually give off a lot of experience. And they're not too, too... They still hit pretty hard, but they're not too, too tough. They give off a lot of experience. And, um... So, the bombs give off little, but they're really easy to deal with. Uh... The core yells, or whatever the frig you want to call them. Uh, usually the standard stuff, you don't kill them in one hit, they use blasters, KO, or paralyze. Mad Ogres, annoying as hell because they punch you. So sorry if I go really quickly, but that's the name of this game. Just make it to the exit. Of course, when stupid crap like getting running into encounters. And like I said, some encounters will be forced. However, I do believe once in a while you, there's another chest. You might see a sentence that says may encounter or a weaker monster is present. If you head north there, there's the final third chest of this floor. Once in a while you might see the words uh, detect weaker monsters. I believe that all that means is you'll probably get into less difficult random encounters. God, this is just chewing up time. See, this is something that kills your time. It's just a lot of random attacks. At least I'm not getting surprise attacks. So we're on the third floor. Third floor is pretty straightforward. 
It's only the second floor that's tricky. Now let's get the hell up there. North, chest there. Go up that ladder, chest there. If you head down this ladder, you'll get into a force encounter with floating eyes. And you can get the third chest. Hell flappers, real annoying, can blind your party members. And that uh, flower thing, not nothing really special. So yet again, I do apologize for running through this quickly, but this is the best way to get through the level. If you go to the right here, you'll get into a back attack by some pain in the butt monsters. No, I... If you go to the right here, you'll come to a life recovery spring, or not a spring, sorry, a tile. So anything you lost, you can regain. Stop doing that, now you're just wasting time. See this is what really does kill the time. I've tried, and the best I've been able to do I think is MPHP restored, is like 7 minutes. If you head in the other direction there, you'll uh, go to an exit, so if you want to exit rather than continuing, just take the left spot there. Oh, this is a force encounter crap. Smash and grab. Lainas will entice characters as a retaliation. Gotcha. Shirk in your ass. Are you sure? That's the chakram. So that's the first in force encounter. Ooh, we got a Luma Harp. Oh, weak monsters. Yeah, it said weak monsters detected, blah blah blah. Stop getting back attacks. So yeah, in this room and the next room, there's no final boss in this dungeon, but there are forced encounters. So that can be a little annoying. Uh, so let's keep heading north. Marlboros, Marlboros will cast random. They'll cast bad breath, which can turn, which can cast every status ailment on a character. So not pretty. Oh god, get me to wait, get me, get away, get away, get away! Oh, that's not so bad. Whew. Yeah, they will do, if you're just entering this dungeon at like level 25 or so, they will murder you. As you saw there, he did 800 points of damage, so they'll do like 1500 to an unprepared party, uh, a really low level party. Yeah, I'm not going to get the 5. It's just all these random encounters. It's a lot about uh, luck. Oh, uh, I'm already past the 5. Like I said, Storm Animus, excellent ones to grind off of. Though watch out, they do hit hard. So another forced encounter. Uh, Sukunawa hit the bitches in the back. Hate you, lonely old man. Get a woman's ungetsu. Interestingly enough, Zaiwe actually is the only female, I think, in this entire game that is able to be charmed by another woman. I don't think this has any hidden innuendos or anything. I think it's just because the fact that, as a woman, uh, she's one of the weakest in magic defense as a woman. So let's see what we got. We got a flame lance! Damn, yeah! God, I've been trying to get that one. Whew! Alright. Wow. I went through that pretty quickly. I don't know how fast that was. I didn't look at the time. So yeah, you can keep uh, you can keep going back in all you want. Remember, there's two good items per floor in each chest. So we'll take a look at some mithril hammer. This one, I believe, you got on the second floor or first floor. I think it was the first floor. Yeah, the first floor. It's a random special chest in the first floor. Uh, killer bow, random one in the first floor again. 
protects from sleep. Ah, Black Cowl, I believe this is the third floor? I think it's third floor. No, it's the... F yeah, it's the third floor. Miswrap, this is another one of the... This is the second best item you can get from the chest at the... The final chest there, if you get a good time. Kotetsu, whatever, this is a really good... This is the best item you can get from the chest. Ashura... I think this is from floor two? No, the Mithril Hammer is from floor two. Ashura is from floor one. Lucky, nothing special. I just, yeah, it just brings up your attack by a bit. Uh, this is on the second floor, random chest in the second floor, another special random. Uh, it has, there we go, there's Crimson Cherry. Uh, which is on the third floor, and the shock room, which is a good item on the fourth floor. The other one is the wind lance, but I don't need it anymore. Alright, so just to recap, Edge's dungeon is all about speed, so once you build up your experience and your levels, just forget all the chests and run like hell to get through as fast as possible to get the best item. I think pretty much if you achieve an S rank, I think you'll get the best item available. Um, now I believe the sword, the mystic veil, most of the weapons in the final chest are one time only. So I think you can only get them once. I think you can get the adamantium, uh, silver apple, more than once, stuff like that. So remember, each floor has three chests, except for the fourth floor, which has a single chest, and that's right in the middle. If you're on the fourth floor and you want to heal up, it's a great place to grind with that uh, healing tile there. You go to the right, if you go to the left, you can just exit out, or you can just use a emergency exit item. One of these right here. It'll take you right out. And these are good to use when you're grinding, so what I'd say is as soon as you get like one of the special items from a chest on a floor, just use emergency exit to get out and save. Save yourself a lot of frustration. The random encounters you will get when looking through those special chests, not special chests, but the special, to get the special item, like I said, they show up randomly. Uh, the enemies will probably be something based on that floor, so nothing too scary. It's just like a regular encounter, it's just forced when you open the chest, and then after you win the battle, you get the item. So, nothing special. So hopefully that's helped. I know I burned through that really quickly, and I know I've been blathering on for a bit, but I'm trying to get as much information as I can. So, if there's any questions, just let me know. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Bye now.